This video is sponsored by Randa Hope. Stick around to see how you can join the character design contest with a prize pool of $8,000. And also see all the wonderful possibilities that are now available on Randa Hope. So as 3D artists, we've probably worked with several character creator tools and one of the major things that we've battled with creating is realistic looking characters and that is where the folks at Blendify come in with Global Skin. Global Skin is the ultimate skin shader that allows you to create global skin shading for a wide range of tools from Dash 3D all the way to MetaHuman, Character Creator and Human Generator. Of course, for those who are thinking about creating characters from scratch, the folks at CG Cookie do have an amazing course for that but of course if you like to save time and start creating rapidly then this is definitely the tool for you. Now today we're going to talk about this tool and also share some interesting stuff that you guys need to know about and of course for those who like to pick this up links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. So with a tool like this how you get to work with it is super easy regardless of the DCC app that you're coming from as far as your UVs conform to character creator 4 MetaHuman, Human Generator, Dash 3D, Genesis 9, and 8 characters, then you're super good to go. By default, this offers a good number of shaders for the head, the torso, the hands, and also the leg. There is also some additional shaders for those who like to work with the sample files, but more of that in a bit. Additionally, for those who like to work with skin tones, this offers 5 different varieties that you can tweak from, some displacement parameters that also comes with this. And for those who like to get the hyper-realistic scenes for the global skin and humidify, the folks at Blendify has just recently announced this and this comes with over 20 different scenes that you can play with. So if you like to study how the characters are made or possibly you like to study how the texturing gets to be done with this, then you can simply come through and grab this, as this is currently available for those who like to pick this up to get started with it. So with Blender simply open up right here, how you get to install this is super easy as all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and if you're using Blender 4.2 and above you need to go over to add-ons, click on the drop down and install from this. And if you're using previous versions of Blender, Blender 4.1 and lower, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference, go over to add-ons, click on install and install the add-on. And once you've got the add-on installed, you can now click on the bugger menu and save your preference. And with this done, if you tap N on the keyboard, you'll notice right here we've got global skin. So like we mentioned earlier, for Dash characters, character creator, metahuman, and so on, you do have skin shaders for them. So depending on the character that you're working with and how the UVs of those characters get to be caught, this is how global skin gets to apply the skin on this model. So for this video, we've taken the liberty to install human generator. So we can simply start off by taking a look at human generator and see some of the things that we can get started with. We'll start off by taking a look at the characters that we have. So I might just simply eyeball this and say, maybe we can start off with this character. Let's generate that character and bring that in, go in and take a look at it. So I'm going to add some hair to that, some clothing and a simple pose. And of course, Human Generator does have a couple of interesting skins that you can play with, but this is nothing compared to what we've got with Global Skin. So for us to start getting things going, let's switch over to Cycles Rendering with GPU, and we're going to go over to Global Skin. We'll probably need some light in here, so I'm just simply going to go ahead and take a look at Light Studio from B Production and add a few light in. So with what we've got here, we've definitely got something looking really nice. Like take a look at the details that we've got here, they look super cool, really nice for what it is, but then let Global Skin get into the picture. So once we have our object selected and we go over to Global Skin and then we choose Human Generator, click, click and select and then go over here and we're simply going to specify that we would like to have displacement and bump, we can now fire up the apply shader. Of course, you can also go in and make some changes for the look depending on what you like to have. So I'm just going to let these things be the way they are, click on apply shader and let the magic happen. And from what we've got here, you can tell that our character is looking way better than what we had earlier. And yes, the skin tone has changed, but that is totally nothing to worry about as Global Skin has a ton of parameters that can solve all that. And if we simply zoom all the way in, I would like you guys to start seeing even way more details than we had before. Let's throw in a camera on this and we're going to explore the shaders where the real magic happens. So 
right here you can see that we've got something looking really cool let's zoom in again one more time so we can go in and see all these glorious details in hd so by default you can already tell that we're having a way nicer looking character from what we've got previously so we can zoom all the way in and you can start seeing that and for color and parameters there's a lot of things that we can do like just take a look at how much details we've got right here so once i have this selected we can zoom all the way in and we can start making some changes so right here for the weight we can choose to increase the weight if we want and this is the overall weight of the displacement and we can also choose to turn that down if we would like to increase the micro pores we can increase those micro pores and we can simply go all the way out and start appreciating it moving on there is also the very cool displacement tool that we can play with and we've also got some interesting makeup now before we talk about the makeup let's talk about the overall look of the character if we like to make changes to the skin tone we can currently they do offer five different skin slots that you can use to define five different skins that you like your characters to have so first off if we simply go all the way here if you do have a base color you can throw that in right now we don't have a base color so we're simply going to go all the way down and you notice we've got like the ambient occlusion we've got the roughness and specularity and we have the skin tone so the very first skin tone is this then you've got the second one third one fourth one fifth one depending on what you want to do you can simply go to town with it so starting off with the first one the same thing that you've got for the first one is the same thing that you've got all the way down to tone five so you can just simply tone this and you know have variations of different tones depending on what you want to do so for the first one we can go in and we can start making some interesting changes for the leap of our character we'll probably like the leap tone of the character to be slightly more greenish and if we zoom all the way out you can see that this is what we've got so we can actually undo that because we kind of prefer what we had previously and if we go all the way up you would notice that we've got the base color so if you do have a map this is where you get to place it however if you just want to have a base color to drive the entire skin look you can simply go over to the skin that you're working with and drop the weight all the way to zero and the base color will drive it at the same time like i mentioned earlier you've got five different kinds of skin so you can simply select any of these things increase the weight and get it going now for the base color once you set any of the skin tone to one it doesn't mix so when i increase the values or reduce the values this will not mix whatsoever the only time where you can achieve some sort of mixing is when you would like to play with the weights of the skin tones say for example we would like to go over to skin tone one so we can do that here or you can do that from the end panel let's actually get rid of the end panel so we can have some space and i can increase this say maybe 0.4 go all the way to where we've got this and then i can blend this in that way we can start creating something with it so you can blend across all of these skin tones and maybe you like that to be a little bit more maybe you want to have a little bit of this you can definitely go ahead and do those blending so once you start blending things in you will be able to have some sort of mixing and that is more like the case where i think a lot of people would want to create a different looking skin tone which sort of matches maybe their fantasies or ideas that they're trying to create but other than that what you've got here is pretty straightforward now there is actually something that i think a lot of you guys may want to know so for that what we're going to do is just get rid of all of the skin tone values that we've got and this is in regards to the skin tone that you're currently working with so if we simply zoom all the way in here you would notice that we've got color and we've got weight tone so you can go in and start playing with the color let's just simply make this a little bit exaggerate and change this to green and we're simply going to drag this a little bit upwards and make it slightly brighter so with this we can see that the color which got this color weight definitely we can see that this color is mixing with the weight tone so to do some mixing with this we can now increase the mixing a little bit more so the more we increase this the more we will be getting the weight tone this simply takes advantage of the ambient occlusion map and drives the green all over to these hidden crevices and with this you can start accentuating how you design the skin for the character that you're creating we can also choose to play with the weight as well to actually drive things a little bit more but with the mix what we're basically doing behind the scene is mixing the color and the waist tone and getting some cool results for us so with that you can definitely go ahead and do some stuff and because we're working with the human generator and this basically if we simply press n on the keyboard this basically just applies one gigantic shader across every single thing you would notice that we've got the lip tone the arms and leg tone and we've got the cheek tone all of that is here but 
I believe if you're working with things like, you know, DAS that simply has all of these, you would need to go in and make changes for all of these ones, one after the other. And at any point in time, you can also crank the roughness if this is something that you want, just to get a little bit more less shiny looking surface of the model. And all of these are currently available for you to tweak and get some interesting looking results. Now for effects, there are some effects that you can add to your character. So right here, where we've got the effects, we can throw in a little bit of freckles. So we can say maybe we'll like our character to have some freckles on them, and then we can start having that. So in this case, we can just simply go ahead and crank that all the way up. And you can already tell that we're getting some freckles in. We can bring that down. We can change the tone of the freckles. And at the same time, we can choose to add some blemishes as well. So if we like to have some blemishes on the model, we can also go ahead and get that and we can tone that down. So for those who like to create vitiligo related characters, you can. So we can go over to the vitiligo section and we can crank up the vitiligo and start adding some very interesting vitiligo on our model. Same thing can also be said for acne as well. So if we'd like to have some acne on the model, possibly there is a kind of storytelling you want to do with this. All of these, they come together to make your character look way more believable. All the way down, we've also got some very interesting makeup stuff. The base makeup color of your character is definitely this, and you can simply crank that up if you want at any point in time. So, you know, if you like to set this to green, you can. If you like to set this to blue, you totally can. So this is in relation to the makeup that your character would be putting on. If you like to play with the eyeshadow, maybe you like your character to have some eyeshadow, you can also go ahead and do that. So we can also bring that down if we want. If we like to play with the eyeliner as well, we can also add some eyeliner. We can, you know, play with the first style and the second style as this comes with two different styles. And you can actually mix and match these things to get some very nice and desirable results. For the blushes, you can add some blushes to your model. And this is basically for characters that are very feminine. For masculine characters, I kind of doubt that you'd be needing something like this. So we can do that. And the very same thing can be said for lip color, glitters, and all that stuff. So for lip color, we could just make this slightly reddish and we can bring that down. We can also play with the style of how the lip color should be. And in this case, we are not only creating high quality looking character, like you can see, but at the same time, we're adding some very interesting details to this. So all of these you can now start doing with your characters and it doesn't stop there. So if you do have any of the specified characters that these supports, you can now start creating high quality looking characters for yourself. So you can see how much details that this has. And for those who like to take a look at the scenes that this comes with, there are some very interesting characters that you can get there. This also comes with some hair shaders. So if you like to take a look at the hair shaders and possibly you like to play with them, then you can also go ahead and do that. So at this point, if you are working with the scene files that this comes with, there are some very interesting hair shaders that you can use. And you can also transfer these hair shaders to your very own characters and start exploring them. So this is it for those who like to take a look at this and possibly you like to see even more cool stuff that these currently offers and a ton of things that you can now get with the global skin shader or the hyper realistic scene from the folks at Blendify. Then links to this is going to be in the description. And speaking about characters and design, the folks at Renderhub are currently doing a character design contest with a price pool of $8,000. And this is running from now till October the 31st of 2024. This comes with a couple of cash prizes to be won and also some honorable mention cash prizes are also available. There are terms and conditions that simply applies and also some other things to keep in mind. Renderhub has an interesting marketplace that covers literally any single single thing you want in regards to 3D. And their 3D art gallery comes with a ton of 3D art that you would draw inspiration from. And of course, if you're looking for free 3D models, you can also come through and get free 3D models right here on RenderHub. So this is it for those who like to take a look at this, or possibly you'd like to join the RenderHub character design contest. Links to all of these will be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.